so I'm gonna just put this on um, YouTube um, just so that we have a clear cut uh, definition of what we've agreed so we start with this uh, this is output on um, Google uh, for the link yep now our first step is always to check okay I need to buy a stock I need to go to the monthly time scale which is right up here okay now what we know is if since this was the COVID low if you look at this if we cannot participate in this move the reason is because we don't know when this move turns back right and also so for one more clarity this black line is the average of the last 20 bars so for example currently the black line is here and the price is trading here so starting from this bar we go back 20 bars and when we go back 20 bars this point represents the average of the last 20 bars that's what this point means okay so when after after the um after the covid crash which was somewhere here the stocks start running up and if we want to participate in the stock we will buy it when we get to this point just bear with me hang on Sorry, so I was saying that we will buy the stock when it reaches the yellow zone. So, of course, we are looking at somewhere when the stock was here. At this point, I've just replayed the bars. At this point, the yellow zone is here, right? So, we're waiting for 82. But as I said, as the time progresses, even the yellow zone moves ahead. So, let's just quickly go to a 3x period and check what happens. Right? This is all the waiting time. There is no option to this. Every bar here represents a month. So we can see essentially that the stock has still not reached the yellow zone. Um, and we're still waiting to do our investment in this. Right? Now, that is the first point where our investment, let's say we have a thousand pounds to invest in this the first 500 pounds go here at 100 if it reaches around 91 which is the lower part of the band which is about here that's where our second investment goes alternatively if the stock does a u-turn and then crosses 100 again we've missed out the chance on this investment at the bottom but then we do our second investment again at a slightly higher price this is the trick we never average a falling stock we average a stock that's on the up move all right then let's see what happens next all right beautiful we got a quick chance to invest at 90 and the stocks actually dropped slightly further below 90 and it continues to go up right okay we'll just skip uh, exit this thing for now because the stocks are already headed up so we are in profits now we've already discussed that we need two confirmations one is from the price we don't have, we have not yet pulled up the indicator at the bottom so this is our first confirmation we said we will try to buy the stock at the best price but we are talking about a stock that has already ran up what if we are at a stage where the stock is right now and we still want to buy it it's very clear we will make this zone we will put our zone right next to the yellow line this is the zone we are waiting so if I want to buy Apple Inc today I'm waiting in this zone to buy it right that's point number one the other thing is if we are in doubt okay this is a falling stock and we don't know we we are not quite sure as to whether we should buy a stock here or not so let's just make a quick square when the price reaches here we are trying to figure out whether we should buy the stock in this square or not in that case we have our second indicator below which is this indicator all right so let's just go to this indicator we've said when this black line does a u-turn so it's falling down it does a u-turn it tries to get up this is the point where we will buy it this point precisely here all right so i've put a line so that we have that as our reference that is the point we're going to buy it and boom so even if we've not bought here 
we can actually buy further more accurately at this point which means our point of entry can either be by our old logic here or if we combine logic number one and logic number two our point of entry should be here in both cases it is still at 100 that's the beauty of the system right however for me getting a confirmation from the price and getting a confirmation from the volume and the strength below is a beautiful point to buy it so the buying would be here and see how precisely from 100 it's already given a 50% return in less than a year a 50% return in less than a year I think that's pretty decent as far as uh, trading or investing goes now this is quite straightforward because this stock was at a monthly chart but there's also another reason why do we think that when a stock is falling down we can buy it in the yellow zone you've got to always look at the patterns in the past the stock is on a run up it falls down to the yellow zone it gets picked up stocks on a run up here drops down to the yellow zone gets picked up so the data or the patterns that we have identified in the past they help us make decisions in the future right these are still manual decisions if you look at where the algos picked it up algos picked it up somewhere in 2009 i was even born no, i was born then but yeah i mean i wasn't I was not thinking about the markets at that point when alphabet was around five dollars but yeah the algos picked it there there's no way to buy it now what if i still want to buy this stock just with the algo so we have our price confirmation we have our um, indicator confirmation which was the bar here right what if i wanted to buy it with the algo so how about i delete this box I'll now move to one chart below because I do not have any algo indications here. So I need to move one step below to a weekly chart. Right. See, that's where the first move was. Now I'm going to use the same stock to explain how we buy with an algo, right? There is two ways of buying or making a decision after you have received a get ready signal. So let's just go to bar replay. We're going to come here. So as you can see on the screen right now, in the weekly chart, we have no signals. So I'm just going to play the bars. Right, let, let, sorry, let's just let this bar finish. Correct, dot. Now, the moment that this bar has finished, I have two ways or two options to buy. The first is, the bar is finished here I will wait in the yellow zone if you look at the left hand side this is where the yellow zone is and this is a potential ex extension of the yellow zone in the future right so I'll wait here however some stocks which might be in a fast momentum will actually fly quickly so the other option is to put a line right at the top I put a line here so this is my signal candle where the algos picked it up I put a line right up here if this stock crosses this point i can also buy it here so there's two options option number one is to buy it at the yellow base or if the option if the price crosses the the top of this candle you can buy it quickly there that's the two options we've got with the algo in this case let's see which option did we get we got option number one which is buying in the yellow zone that option is obviously done and even if you didn't buy it here you've got to buy it here right so that's the two options we've got now i'm going to stop this again that has covered how we buy on a monthly time scale right how we buy using the price confirmation how we buy using the indicator confirmation which is at this point and also how we buy at the algo again i'll just repeat if you do not get any indications on the algo on a monthly chart of course that means the stock is in a very strong uptrend you've got to move to a weekly chart